And this is obviously way easier than everything else I've shown you so far, so. Welcome back to episode two of Hair Growth Secrets. I'm so excited to bring this to you. You all loved the last episode where we talked about rosemary oil and you wanted me to show you how to make it. As I said, it's super simple. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through the steps on how to make rosemary oil and rosemary water. Thank you for tuning in again if you are a subscriber. If you're not, make sure you subscribe. I'm Brianna Alexis. Oh my God, I almost forgot to say that. But um, I just feel like I've introduced myself so many times now. So if you don't know, Hi, that's me and we're talking about hair growth secrets. What I noticed is that there were so many different hair growth trends that everybody would just jump on kind of bandwagon style. I just don't feel like they really stuck around. So I figured why don't we just explore the different things that help your hair grow. Before I continue, I wanna say that I don't want you to feel overwhelmed, okay? The goal here is for you to find something that works for you and you stick to it. That's it. If you love rosemary oil, do that. If you love coffee beans, do that. Okay, you pick something, maybe not everything works for you. You pick it, you stay consistent, and then you'll see the growth. That's all we have here. So now we're gonna go to the kitchen and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make rosemary water and rosemary oil. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get water. I have a Kangen machine, so I set it to 9.0 and I get my water from there. I'm only filling it up to about two cups because I think that's about how much my spray bottle can hold. So that's a good key for how much water to use wherever you're going to put it. And then you're going to turn your stove up to high because you want the water to boil. And once it's boiled, you're going to go ahead and add the rosemary. And you can use as much or as little rosemary as you want. As I said, I'm not very particular in how I do it. You can use organic or non-organic. I'm using non-organic and I just pull out about three sprigs and when I see that the water is, <laughs> oh my god, when I see that the water is boiled, I go ahead and drop it in there. Once the rosemary has been in the water for about three to five minutes with the lid on, you're going to go ahead and take it off the stove and let it steep for about three hours minimum. You want to see a dark red color and once it's cool, you can go ahead and transfer it into your spray bottle or your nozzle bottle, wherever you're going to put your rose water. And remember that the shelf life is only one to two weeks refrigerated, okay? So don't leave it on your dresser or in your cabinet. Make sure you're using it and that's all you do. So for the first method of rosemary oil, it's really simple. As you can see, I'm just going to stuff some rosemary into a jar and then I'm not very particular about like um, if I should use a lot or a little, I just pick as much as I think could fit into the jar. <laughs> And so once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and pour castor oil over it. You can pick any oil you want. I'm using castor oil just for this demonstration, but you'll see a little later which oil I prefer to use in my hair. Castor oil is very thick, which is why it's not my preference. Um, but basically, you're just going to fill the jar completely up and put the lid on, and then you're going to leave it somewhere dark so i would say maybe in your um like in the bathroom cabinet somewhere it's away from sunlight would help and you would be able to tell by the color when it's infused i would say give it at least you know two weeks and then you'll be able to use it yeah <music> Now for my favorite method, the easiest method, is mixing rosemary essential oil with jojoba oil and massaging it through my hair. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. I start with my jojoba oil and I'm gonna just put a little bit in my hand. And this is obviously way easier than everything else I've shown you so far, so if you're pinched for time, this is the best thing. Now, you can see it in my hand. It's just a few drops of oil. Okay, right? 
Then I take, I should have opened this before, my rosemary. I take my rosemary and then I just dump it a few drops. Maybe that was four or five. I don't know, you can count it. I'm not very specific about this. I know everybody's asking me for specifics, like what do you do? What do you actually do? I wing it every time. I rub it through my hands like this, and then I just rub it through my scalp. I like to do kind of like a scratching motion down like this, because I just feel like it helps me from not like, you know when you start doing it like that? I feel like that can tangle up my hair sometimes. So I like to do almost like a combing motion. I'm not saying that I don't go in circles. Sometimes, switch it up, as I said. It's whatever you feel like. Whatever works for you. You'll notice that the smell is very strong. <laughs> so I only do this maybe a few days before I wash my hair or so. It just depends because I just don't really like leaving the house smelling like rosemary essential oil. If that's not a problem for you, by all means, do it. But I'm usually wearing other perfumes and those are the perfumes that I want to stand out. So, so you can see a few drops. Now the reason we put the essential oil in the carrier oil is because essential oil is very concentrated and we need it to spread all over our hair. And that's what the carrier oil is. It's going to carry it all over. So I like to focus on my scalp, but um, I also take it down. And then depending on what day it is, what I'm doing, I'll put it on the ends as well. You can see, it looks super shiny. I usually massage it into my head for about two minutes or so. I would say anywhere from one minute to two minutes to five minutes would be good. Um, try not to just put it in for like, you know, 10 seconds and then go about your business because when you're actually massaging it into your scalp, that's gonna help stimulate growth as well. So it's kind of like a, a two for one. So that's what I do. If you've been on my TikTok, you'll see that I've talked about this one a lot. It's the Mayel Rosemary Biotin Rosemary Oil. It's the Rosemary Mint, Rosemary Mint Scalp. Let me know if you prefer rosemary oil or rosemary water. The key is to make sure you use it consistently. So that's all for episode two. Don't forget to subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok. You can leave me a comment. I always see them. I respond. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.